Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. Stay with us now, for it is evening. Let your light scatter the darkness. when I cry 
of my hands as an offering to you. Keep watch within me, God. Deep in my heart may the light of your love be burning bright. Let my prayer Offering to you all praise to the God of all, Creator of life. All praise be to Christ and the Spirit of love. Let my prayer rise up like incense. Lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. From Chapter 5 of Journeying in the Wilderness by Terry Martinson Elton. It was Sarah's idea. A BWCA canoe trip. She grew up canoeing with her dad and wanted her high school friends to have a similar experience. Her friends were city girls, so camping, canoeing, and roughing it would be new experiences. She enlisted our mutual friend, Danette, and me to turn her idea into reality. Danette and I gathered with the girls monthly for almost a year. During that time, we shared expectations, mapped a route, practiced setting up tents, and talked about what to wear. We learned how to paddle, portage, and steer a canoe. We prayed, laughed, and shared stories. The excitement grew with each gathering and soon it was time to go. On a sunny August morning, we headed north. The car was quiet for the first few hours and then we saw Lake Superior. As the freeway transitioned to a two-lane highway, the smells, sights, and sounds captured our attention and our enthusiasm grew. We were no longer in the city. We were in the BWCA. Our preparation was over. We were here. We parked near our entry point and loaded the canoes. Leaving the comforts of home locked in the car, we pushed each canoe onto the lake. No one said anything for a few minutes. I'm still not sure who was more excited, the first timers or veterans. In the quiet of the afternoon, you could feel the energy. For three days, we paddled pristine lakes, marveled at the scenery and enjoyed a simple lifestyle. We cooked on a camp stove, took turns guiding the group and shared camp duties. At the end of each day, we gathered around the campfire to tell stories, to give thanks, and to dream about the future. Without home and school pressures, we were present with each other and savored each moment. With wilderness wisdom and new perspectives, we had the best of both worlds. Soon it was time to pack our tents for the last time and head home. After months of planning, in the blink of an eye, it was over. We stopped for dinner in Grand Marais on the way back. We all needed showers, but lingering in this liminal space provided one last chance to cherish each other's company and imprint our memories. As the sun set, we drove out of town with our favorite song playing, This Road by Jars of Clay. 
all heavy laden, acquainted with sorrow. May Christ in our marrow carry us home. From alabaster come blessings of laughter, a fragrance of passion, joy from the truth. The song articulated our experience. These young women were acquainted with sorrows and the blessings of laughter. Our days canoeing were the capstone of this adventure, but the song spoke to our true adventure, a life of faith. It named what bonded us, spoke truth about our experience and proclaimed our source of hope. Soon Sarah, Jill, Katie and Darcy would be off to college. Danette and I busy raising our children and this trip, history. As we pulled into Sarah's driveway, I wondered if these ordinary days in the BWCA would make a difference. Wilderness adventures bind people together. They form and change us. In the wilderness, relationships are deepened, priorities rearranged, and new perspectives gained. Sarah, with wisdom beyond her years, knew the formative power of wilderness experiences. What she did not realize was the impact that this trip would have in cultivating an alternative way of life for all six of us. Now, as we reflect on these last five weeks of Lent, I encourage you to think about a song that has lyrics that speak your story or lyrics that articulate your experience. What is that song? What are those words? And then what is a wilderness adventure that you have had that's bound you to other people? What was that like? The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it.
us who are gathered to worship and praise you. For all of your servants who live out your gospel. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit.